Hello and welcome to the School of Physics and Astronomy at Monash University. My name is Michael Morgan and I coordinate the MSc coursework programs here at Monash School of Physics and Astronomy. Today I want to talk to you briefly about one of our programs, the Master of Science with a specialist uh, in astrophysics. You'll notice on this slide there's a contact email address and a website and I'd invite you to uh, email me if you have any inquiries after viewing this video. So let me begin by posing a question. Why would you choose this course? Well, the Master of Science in Astrophysics is a specialist two-year degree and it provides high-level training and the research skills necessary to navigate a complex and rapidly changing technological world. The next question is, well, why would you choose Monash University? Well, one aspect of uh, a course such as this is the research intensity for the university. So when you join Monash, you'll have access to world-class researchers and facilities, and I'll touch on these uh, shortly. You'll also be part of an outstanding research culture which will support your career aspirations. The School of Physics and Astronomy at Monash is ranked in the top 100 in the world. And this is based on all major uh, academic rankings, such as the Academic Ranking of World Universities, QS, and The Times. In the most recent audit of research excellence, which is called ERA, Excellence in Research for Australia, the last audit of which was in 2018, the school received the highest rating of five, well above world standard for all its research programs, an overall rating of five, and the highest rating for the impact of our research. This places the School of Physics and Astronomy at Monash among a very small number of universities in Australia that exhibit the kind of research intensity and research impact. And this is good for you because you will be joining a school that has access to these facilities and people and will promote your research aspirations. Let me talk briefly about the entry requirements. There are two ways in which to come into the program. Remember, this is a two-year coursework program, 50% of which is devoted to research. You could enter in the first year, which we'll call Level 1, and complete this uh, over two years, full-time or four years part-time. To enter into the MSc at Level 1, you need an undergraduate degree, equivalent to an Australian undergraduate degree, with a major in astronomy or astrophysics, or a related discipline. And you also need at least 65% average or qualifications and experience that the Faculty of Science deems equivalent. We particularly look for a 65% or better in your third year subjects in astronomy, astrophysics, physics, and mathematics. Now you can enter directly into the second year if you've completed a four year Australian honors degree or equivalent. If you enter into the second year, level two, this will complete uh, this will take you one further year to complete your master's full-time or two years part-time. Again, we look for a 65% average or better or qualifications and experience that the Faculty of Science considers to be equivalent. If you're an international student, you also have to fulfill English language requirements. Details of these language, English language requirements can be found by searching English language requirements at Monash University. The course structure. Let me briefly uh, outline uh, what you would do if you entered the two-year program. In the first year, you will undertake uh, coursework, in fact, six coursework units. So in the first semester, or the first half of year one, you will do coursework units worth 12 points called ASP 4020, and this is Astrophysics Coursework A. And then once you've completed those, you'll undertake ASP 4021, Astrophysics Coursework B, another 12 points. I'll talk a little bit more about what uh, constitutes this coursework in a minute. At the uh, second half of year one in semester two, you devote your entire energies to an astrophysics research project, which is worth 24 points. Now I need to emphasize, although you'll be devoting all your time in the second semester to the research project, you will actually start your research project right at the beginning of the year. So you'll be assigned a supervisor or supervisors and a research project, and you'll continue that for the entire year, even while you're doing your coursework. 
In the second year, the pattern repeats. So in semester one, you undertake an additional uh, set of coursework units called ASP 5020 and 5021. And these are advanced astrophysics coursework units that build on the coursework you've done in the first year. Unlike many uh, master's programs, which allow you to do coursework in the second year, but it's equivalent essentially as first year, we actually build on the first year so that you do advanced coursework in the second year. This gives you a lot more depth and breadth in terms of the intellectual, intellectual engagement you have with, with coursework. And again, in the second half of year two, you devote your entire energies to the research project, ASP 5000. This is the advanced research project, which will ultimately lead to the MSc thesis that you'll write. Again, the coursework, uh, the research project, I should say, is carried out over the entire year. In fact, you'll start your project in the very first year, and the project will continue throughout the first year and the second year, so you'll devote essentially two years to this project. This will allow you to produce material of a sufficiently high standard that it is publishable in international journals, which is what we aspire to and our students attain. The coursework units. Well, in year one, you choose six coursework units and the research project, which leads to an interim report, which will be assessed by two examiners. The six coursework units are chosen from a wide range of options. So, for example, uh, computational astrophysics, advanced observational astronomy, stellar astrophysics 1, stellar astrophysics 2, which looks at the chemical evolution of the elements, general relativity and cosmology, data analysis and machine learning, dynamics of exoplanets and so forth. So you choose six of these and that will complete your coursework in the first year. And as I said, this will be uh, finished by the semester one and then in semester two you'll continue on with your research that you started in semester one, leading to an interim report, which will be examined. In year two, you choose six advanced coursework units and the research project, which leads to the MSc thesis. These research uh, advanced coursework units build on year one. So for example, you'll have high energy astrophysics, radiation astrophysics, advanced general relativity, order of magnitude astrophysics, magnetohydrodynamics, special topics in astrophysics, and so forth. So you can see that you will be building on what you've done in first year at a very advanced level in second year. And this MSc program is competitive with the best MSc programs in Europe, Asia, and North America. Now, a very important uh, motivation for coming to Monash is the, the facilities that we provide. So we have world-class facilities. Let me just mention a few and show you a few pictures of what we have to offer. So it depends on what research project you do as to what facilities you'll need. If you do a project that involves uh, observational astronomy, then you may be accessing observational, uh, you may be accessing radio or optical telescopes or space-based telescopes or various other kinds, for example, gravitational wave astronomy. So we have uh, a number of centres of excellence. These are called Australian Research Council Centres of Excellence in Future Low Energy Electronics Technologies, a Centre of Excellence in Gravitational Wave Discovery, building on the discovery of gravitational waves in 2015, which we were part of. We were part of that, uh, that important discovery which led to the Nobel Prize in 2017. We're also uh, part of the ARC Centre of Excellence in All Sky Astrophysics in Three Dimensions, Astro 3D. Uh, we also are part of a number of other centres. So I, managed, I mentioned, for example, the Monash Warwick Alliance in High Energy Particle Physics. Now this may be relevant to those of you that want to choose a project at the intersection between astrophysics and particle physics, such as astroparticle physics. There are many other facilities that you have access to. The Australian Synchrotron is located opposite Monash. There are access to other synchrotron facilities in Japan, Europe, and the United States. Uh, if you're doing a project involving experimental particle physics, uh, you'll have access to the Large Hadron Collider and so forth. Of particular interest to those doing astrophysics is the access to LIGO, the Gravitational Wave Observatory in the United States. Indeed, we also have access to Virgo and CAGRA, which are gravitational wave observatories in Europe and in Japan. 
Uh, we have also have access to the European Southern Observatory in Chile, ALMA, which is a, uh, another uh, radio, uh, another millimeter wave observatory in Chile, the Joint Institute for Nuclear Astrophysics, and many more uh, world-class facilities. So here's just uh, a couple of slides. On the left, we see the New Horizons Research Centre, which houses the school's research facilities. It's also going to be your home for two years because all the master's students are co-located in this building. On the right, we have uh, what is called the GoTo Observatory. This is a, a, a set of telescopes in the Canary Islands, which are remotely controlled uh, at, here at Monash. And this is, a, this is being built jointly by Monash University and the University of Warwick. And GoTo looks for gravitational uh, optical transients associated with gravitational waves. Probably more important than the facilities are the people. And uh, we're particularly proud of the very large range of excellent researchers we have. We have uh, research fellows, postdoctoral fellows, ongoing staff at the professorial level. We have a very large number of Australian Research Council future fellows, the, the largest of any university uh, in the country. Uh, we have uh, ARC laureate fellows, DECRA fellows, and so forth. And so these world-class researchers are the people who will be your supervisor or supervisors for the time that you're undertaking your research project. So this combination of excellent world-class research facilities and highly talented and creative researchers means that you're able to do research which is genuinely cutting edge. And one measure of that will be your capacity to produce publications out of, uh, arising from your MSc thesis that can be published in international journals. And that's exactly what we aspire you to do and we help you to do that. Let me briefly mention career outcomes because this is obviously of interest to those of you that perhaps are looking at a master's uh, just to broaden your experience but are not necessarily wanting to go beyond that to pursue a full research career. So the career outcomes will be based on the following. So the skills that you acquire in the MSc program are indeed highly sought after by employers and they're applicable to a wide range of research careers. So our, our graduates use their knowledge in managing astronomical observatories and medical imaging, climate modeling, scientific instrumentation, research and development, big data analytics and visualization, the energy sector, science communication and media, and even as far afield as banking, finance, and patent law. Let me just return to one of these, namely big data analytics and visualization. One of the, the challenges in all domains of society, whether it be in astrophysics or physics or engineering or medicine or biology or economics or law, is the huge amount of data that, is, uh, that you have to deal with. And so one of the subjects that we actually teach is, is data analysis and machine learning, which allows you to deal with and visualize and extract useful information and patterns from big data. And this big data analytics uh, is sought after, our graduates are sought after with these skills and find their, the skills put to use in a very wide range of industries, ranging from environmental protection, to, as I said, banking, to financial modeling, consulting. There are a very wide range of areas in which these skills involving the analysis of big data and machine learning are highly sought after. So as a consequence of these skills, our graduates find employment in a wide range of industries, in scientific institutes, including universities, in hospitals, government organizations, such as the Bureau of Meteorology or the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organization or the Australian Synchrotron or other government organizations in science communication and media or indeed in startup companies, just to name but a few. And of course, a master's degree from Monash also equips you to proceed to a research doctorate or a PhD. So for further information, there's information here that you can access through our handbook our YouTube, which includes a tour of the research facilities here in the School of Physics and Astronomy, our website and Facebook. So I strongly encourage you to have a look at these websites, handbooks, YouTube, and so forth. And also, of course, the very first slide had my email address, so please feel free 
to contact me should you have further questions. So thank you for giving your time to this video. I hope we'll see you here at Monash at some point in the future. Thank you.